In this presentation, we're going to be looking at a few tips and tricks that I presented at my AU class in regards to setting up some custom shelves and a little tiny bit of Mel. So I use custom shelves all the time. They're one of the things that's super powerful inside of Maya, and I want to share with you a few of the, uh, few of the tips and tricks that I have. The first thing to keep in mind with shelves inside of Maya is you can have the same tool on a shelf more than once, or the same command on a shelf more than once. Maya ships with some basic tools already laid out for you. So if you look at the options for the revolve command here, you'll see that the command that's being executed when we click that shelf button is just a simple mel command revolve. Pretty straightforward. It does a revolve around the Y axis or whatever was set in the presets. The thing that's kind of interesting about this tool is if you double click on it, it brings up the options for that tool. The reason this happens is because every shelf button inside of Maya has a single click command as well as a double click command. In this example, revolve options. Now here's the thing that's kind of interesting. If we go ahead and we add a new tool to our shelf, another revolve tool, what happens is if I hold my control shift and add the command revolve to my shelf, if we double click this new icon, <clears throat> let's look, let's go ahead and look at what it look at what it's done. It's basically done the revolve preset with a bunch of variables that have been set here. So what this means is we can have the same tool added to our shelf with different variables. Let's go ahead and bring up the revolve options. We'll change a few of these guys around <clears throat> and we'll apply that. We blow that guy away now. So now our revolve options have been changed. We'll add this guy to the shelf. So now we've got basically the, the classic revolve tool set here that we can double click on and change the options. We've got the new revolve tool that just spins around Y that we added. And then we have this other revolve tool that spins around the Z axis as well as having a limited range of sweep. So we have the same tool basically on the shelf three different times configured different ways. Now obviously if you're going to have the same tool on your shelf multiple times, you might want to go ahead and edit it so that they each have a unique look. You know, we could do something like put Y there and give this guy you know, a bright color, something like that. We could also change the background label to not be transparent or fully transparent. Like there's lots of different options that you can you can use to give these guys obviously different meanings <clears throat> or different different colors in the background, things like that. So very fast, very easy to set up these different tools that all have very different <clears throat> options set to them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the next thing that we want to talk about is how I can use custom shelf buttons to start to build a little bit of intelligence to my file. If I'm working with assets over and over again, I often want to build a custom shelf that will assist me with working with those assets. And this is sort of the approach that I like to take. I'll go ahead and I'll make some custom shelf buttons that turn on and off different parts of the display of the user interface or different parts of the display of my rig. And often what I'll do is I'll make a tool and the name of the tool will be a single click. So if I click the joint tool, it's going to display the joints. If I double click the tool, it does the opposite. It hides the joint. So I've got my control rig already displayed. So obviously if I double click control, the control rig disappears. Now the way I'm making this control rig appear and disappear is simply by changing the display of the flag for that viewport of NURBS curves. So if we look at my MELB command for that for this shelf button by simply dragging it down here, all I'm doing is I'm basically setting this MELB command to a true state for model panel number 14, which is my perspective view. When I single click it and when I double click it, obviously what's going to happen is it's going to set it to a false state for the double click command. So that's all I really did to build this button. And the way I figured out what what did this was I put Maya into an echo all commands mode and I just watched what Maya echoed back when I clicked on this show command. So when I say show NURBS curves, I look for this and I go through here and I can see, well, there it is. Model editor NURBS curves true model pane 14. So that's how I figured out, hey, what's Maya doing to show that NURBS curve? So all we have to do is drag and drop that up into my shelf. And now I've got a shelf button. We'll hide those guys. But if I click it, it turns that on. So another thing that I like to do is I like to use shelf buttons to turn on and off display layers. <clears throat> I'll use this for compare contrast. Often I'm going to have 
sort of version A, version B, and trying to turn on a different, a bunch of different flags of visibility on display layers doesn't give you that quick kind of AB comparison compos comparison tool. So by using a mail command on a shelf button, it gives me that functionality where I can switch between, you know, my mud box sculpted layer and my textured layer, really, really quickly. And all this is really doing is it's just changing that display layer. So if I turn a display layer on and off, you can see there's the mail command for changing the attributes for a layer. So that's all I did, again, um, for the shelf button was, was toggle on and off mud dress and then toggle on and off the, the ribbon. So it's a very, very simple um, example, but it really illustrates the power of just taking a couple little lines of code that Maya is echoing back anyway and using it to create a quick macro that adds a little bit of intelligence to your file and makes it much easier to work with. So another thing that I really like to do inside of Maya, let's just go kind of blow all this stuff away, is turn on all the help. Turn on quick help. So if I do something like move, the mail command for move and quick help, it gives me a flag of all the variables. Or it gives me it gives me all the all the flags or variables for that command. The other thing that I like to turn on is the um, tooltips help. So if I start to type a tool, like a command like random or RA, I get a list of all the different RA tools. If I use my up and down arrow keys, I can scroll through that list. And if I just hit the return key, it'll basically then enter me into X, it'll enter the button in or the command in to the mail window and then show up all the different variables or flags associated with that that I might want to call or query. So those are just a couple examples of the types of things that we can do with shelves and a little bit of tips and tricks on using those help commands inside of the mail window to start to build some intelligence into your files. Hopefully this is useful to you guys. I'd love I'd love to get your feedback. Thanks for watching.